Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create an icy looking text effect using GIMP very quick and easy. First I'm going to start by creating a new image. I'll go to the file menu, click new and I'm going to choose one of the templates, this one, then click OK to create the image. Then I'm going to fill it with black color going to the file menu actually going to the edit menu and choosing the fill with foreground color which is black by default. Next I want to create the text so make sure I have the text tool selected click and write ice then control A to select the entire text and change the size to 400 pixels click enter to apply the, the change then I also want to change the color of the text to a slightly gray color let's try this one for example click OK and then I'll grab the move tool and I'm going to adjust the text over here also I'm going to right click on the uh, layer with the text and click on the option merge down to make it one with the background next I'll go to the filters menu and I'll uh, select this artistic category and choose this cubism option I'll get this dialog pop up, I'll find the text and you see how this is going to look with the default settings. You can play around with these settings but I'm just going to use the default, click OK, wait a little bit and this is what uh, it created. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, then go to the colors menu and choose the color balance option and we're going to use this tool to change the colors of the text so first let's start with the shadows click on this option and you see here we have these sliders we can uh, go to cyan or red we can add more magenta or more green more yellow or more blue and this is for all of these mid-tone highlights we're starting with the shadows we want to be more cyan here so we're going to drag like this then uh, for the yellow and blue we're going to add more blue color then we switch to the mid-tones and play with this option then go to the blue again then switch to the highlights and move the slider slightly to the left here and this one a little bit to the right we have a lot of room to experiment here so you can always go back to one of these and adjust the sliders a little bit to see how this is going to affect the text until you get the desired effect let's go back to the midtones move this to the left a little bit go to the highlights again and once we are ready with the, this effect we can just click OK and apply it and you can see how this text looks like so you see how quick and easy you can achieve this effect you, you can make it more dark blue if you want to or more light blue also it's important when you start at the beginning with the color of the text it will um, make a difference how gray the text if you leave it completely white some of the parts of the text will not be affected at all from the uh, from the color bound so you will have completely white areas so you can experiment with these settings and uh, make the text the way you want it to look like also you can see here we have some uh, strange artifacts if I can call them when we apply the filter the cubism filter we can clean them up pretty fast and easy just grab the rectangular select tool make a selection like this control I to invert it delete key actually not delete key this will delete uh, the layer we can just fill it with black color with control comma and this got rid of uh, most of these then we can grab the brush to change the size a little bit 
and also cover some of these if you want to or you can leave some of them to add to the effect and I'm going to leave it like this I think it looks pretty good and I hope this like uh, I hope you like this quick video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe for more if you're new to my tutorials that's it for this one bye